body is packed in ice immediately after death. Then the blood is drained and replaced with a special antifreeze solution, which protects the organs from damage. This would have to be done very carefully because this solution is potentially toxic to living cells. It also have to be done uniformly. Once prepped, the body is cooled to a super low temperature and placed in a chamber filled with liquid nitrogen. Okay, rapid cooling, liquid nitrogen to temperatures at almost minus 200 C. That's the potential to cause cracking and ice crystallization, which is why it has to be done very controlled and uniformly. Kind of like a controlled shutdown at a nuclear power plant. To minimize thermal stress. In this state, and this would actually be harder because a human body is a more regular shape than a nuclear reactor vessel, which is typically cylindrical. The body remains preserved, potentially for decades, while scientists search for future methods of revival. Okay, one common misconception about this is it's suspended animation. It's really not. It slows down chemical reactions, but it does not eliminate them entirely. It's possible for radiation to cause molecular degradation over time, and the cooling medium needs to have gobs of backup systems to ensure that it remains functional during this time period. Some people opt to preserve only their head with the hope that their brain's contents could be transferred to a new body. Is that the advent suit from XCOM 2? 